everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Yeah, and top to bottom, I think both of these clubs have a lot of different guys that can beat you. It might not just be the stars that dominate this series. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if some of the lesser-known guys here wind up stealing the show. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Who are you focused on, EK? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to this offense. But he's got some serious speed, and that's a dangerous weapon at any level. It wreaks havoc on opposing pitchers because there's so many ways to manufacture runs when speedsters get on base. So don't be surprised if you see him cause trouble out there in this one. Here's a pitch taken for ball one as we get underway here at 7.06. First pitch, 7.06. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. Three and 0 now. Showing some uncharacteristic wildness to start things out. Yeah, four-pitch walk, pretty much not the way you want to start out against a club like this. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Yeah, just to get me over fastball. Anything to avoid a four-pitch walk to start the game. Price is ready. Needs to hit his spot here on three balls and a strike. In there on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now. Three and two. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Hit hard towards second. And the throw by Castro takes care of him for the first out. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Maybe even a half heartbeat, considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way, and he winds up making the play. Mookie Betts will stand in now following that seven-pitch at-bat to begin the ballgame. If he was smart, he would have gotten a pretty good look at all seven of those pitches from that on-deck circle. Into the windup and the pitch. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matt, Clyde has a bit of a reputation for rewarding pitchers that pound the bottom of the zone. Calls the game well, but he might see some strike calls below the zone that the hitters aren't going to be too happy with. Top of the first, just getting started here at Miller Park. Ripped on the ground to first. Pierce with a great play. He's out. Woo, no problem. Well, oh, that is so first smooth base over there at first base. And the ball's the headed for the hole, but he pulls it in at full stretch. And then I thought he'd probably flip it, but he decides to just take it himself, and he wins that race to the bag. Edwin Encarnacion will take his cuts now, and he is one guy whose bat has not made the transition from regular season to postseason. Yeah, and he was so good during the regular year, but he's been a non-factor so far in this postseason.
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. This has been just the kind of start you hope for in a game one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ellsbury is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Reds are down in order. Now it's the Brew Crew's turn in a scoreless ball game. And with that, time to take a glance at the starting nine for these Brewers. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, I think just putting this guy into the stretch early and often. Look to get the leadoff hitter on base to give themselves the best opportunity to score runs throughout the game. And there you see Jacoby Ellsbury as he'll lead things off here in the home Leading half the of the road. first. Center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. one here's the pitch and that's in there as well oh and two now cool that's a thing of beauty right there liner toward right center and this inning starts with a solid base hit So far, so good. They get a scoreless top of the first and now a leadoff single to start things in their half. Settling in now, Matt Duffy. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. And he misses with it one and one. Well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Here's a look over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Keeping an eye on him. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's a good pitch call right there on that fastball away. That works almost like a pitch out, just in case he's thinking about it over there at first. Grounded to third. Taken in by Castellanos. Cabrera for one. On to Encarnacion, but it's too late to get them both. And here's why you always go in hard at second base. This could be a very easy double play ball, but you see the aggressive slide here. That really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up getting just one on that play. Excellent aggressive base running. Here's Miguel Sano. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two.
And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Cabrera scoops it up in time to first, and there are two away. Boy, as a hitter, you know you're hoping to get that ball into the outfield somewhere, make it hit the grass, give your guy a chance to score. In this situation, all he does is get to third base. That's not a big help. Steve Pierce gets his first shot now, trying to cash in with a runner at third and two gone. Yeah, and all he needs to do here is find a hole anywhere. From the stretch. A big roundhouse curveball in there for strike one. Boy, this is an ideal start here so far in game one. You get the scoreless top half. And now right away you've got an opportunity here to score first and really put the pressure on right from the outset of this series. That one misses. It's one and one now to the Milwaukee first baseman. Two outs here with a runner at third. Not in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Blackman is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Brewers come up empty in the first. We've played an inning in Milwaukee. No score on the show. Corey Dickerson makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Corey Dickerson. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And, and you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Here's one that misses high. It's 1-1. One and one. Slap hard the opposite way. And a base hit here to open up the second. You talk about a guy who's really stepped it up all throughout this postseason. Here's your man right here. And he's on base again as he leads off the inning with a base hit. Albert Pujols will stand in here in game one. And he'll be looking to put a disappointing division series behind him. Yeah, it was disappointing in that he wasn't able to really carry much of the load. But I know he's grateful to have a shot at redemption here in the league championship series. Price pauses. Here comes the first pitch. Into the seats, 0-1. ready with the nothing in one pitch swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate and Albert swings and misses as he set down for the first down well one thing you can always say when you're facing a guy like this is that he's gonna strike hitters out the question is are you gonna make them work for those strikeouts and if those three pitches are any indication at all these guys could be in for a long night. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Hot shot on the ground is short. Here's Castro for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. None left for Cincinnati. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Andrew Lowry will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Lowry. Here comes the first pitch. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, one and oh. That's 
wide, 2-0. In the dirt, it's 3-0 and now. There's Starlin Castro, he'll follow next. Three and one. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Wow, just a great at bat right there. Exists. Simple as that. Second Patient, baseline. laid off some tough pitches. Starland. He was rewarded. Starlin Castro gets his first shot here with a man on following the leadoff walk. You know, guys, we talk about it all the time. Leadoff walks are so dangerous, and we'll see if they can take advantage of this one. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. After it is Blackman. A quick out number one. Yeah, that's just a good pitch right there. That's a two-seam fastball working its way back inside. And he's probably fortunate he didn't break his bat. He winds up getting this one right down there on the label. And he's retired. Marwin Gonzalez is in to take his first swings here with the runner still at first and one away. Well, too bad that last guy couldn't advance the man into scoring. What's up, Roy? Playing baseball. Playing baseball. What's He's going set on? and the pitch. Off speed pitch oh. in the dirt as he takes All it for the ball. Yeah. That Start change up away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. Nice. And he oh, misses low with it. Two and zero. Oh. Well, two very good takes here. You can see they're trying to get him to doing? hit Taking something like on the final, ground, but he's going to make him bring something up. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Yeah. And even though that's a strike, that's a good take. You want to be looking sure one pitch, study, one spot. So don't go swinging at that one. That was nasty. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul for the second strike. Yeah. Oh, he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into right. foul territory on the right side. And Carnacion will have room there as he puts it away in front of the dugout for out number two. And with two away, let's check out our playoff bracket as we give you a look at how these two teams advanced out of the divisional round to meet here for the league championship. Adonis Garcia set to take yeah. his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to yeah, score. Yeah, you did that shit before, man. In there at the knees, strike one. Skied into straightaway right. Dickerson under it and he makes the catch nah, for out I'm number three. Today, man. I gotta work Milwaukee Friday leads instead. one. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, yeah, that's a... 
What are you going to do? Derek Norris leads it off here. Sunday. Bottom third of the order set to go here in the third. Oh, he's my, faced the minimum so my, far, and obviously it's still early, too. but they need to get Fenway something going because Sunday. you can't let this guy settle this in out there. Sucks. Yeah. Now a fastball to start the no, third. That misses. It's ball one. Out. But it was fun. It's fun being up there, man. Drink some beers, you know. That's about it, though. Ouch, that comebacker Play appeared well. to get him in the arm. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. And the throw won't be in time. Nah, this will be I, able I to played a little the bit the other day, man. At first. Uh, and this has to be a big concern yeah, here. This ball really came good. back and got him right in the pitching while. arm. Very and bad. that is something you just never want to see. You can see him trying to work this one off. And from all appearances, I think they're going to let him continue. So that at least is a good sign. Striding into the box, Nick Castellanos. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. strike and he jumps ahead one and two now now you can't yeah, look for a specific pitch. you just got to protect man. the plate getting in too much trouble set to deal on a ball and two strikes chop fouled over towards the coaching box Oh man, this bear is brutal. Here's the one and two delivery. Mine to the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly okay, has to move there, to man. take it's it in for the first little. out. And that's actually a lot tougher play yeah. than it looks out there. Know, right this field. one's pretty you know, fucking good. Sometimes on the right hander's bat, that ball can kind of curl away from like him. Pale it stays out, so right with it to brutal. put it away. Everett Cabrera stands in. All right, goes right to the head. It's good. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice oh. is successful. Well, I think this is going to wind up working pretty much like a sacrifice, but I don't think that's what he had in mind. This wasn't a show early and make sure you get it down the bunt. He was trying to beat that one out, Finally. but a good throw is going to take care of him. Yeah. Gene Segura oh. will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. They did hit it hard, but I'll tell you, as a hitter, you want to get down to first base. Nice swing, the attaboys, that doesn't go along. Third easy, inning, man. no score to this point. Hit well on the ground uh, to first. Uh. On to first with his Pierce, and that'll be the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more from game one after this. What are you playing, Battlefield? Deeper Carl nice. Crawford digs into the box Leading in the bottom of inning number three. Left fielder, Carl And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And, and you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. He it's one of the locations he really covers star? well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Uh, that misses oh, wide. Right. One ball and one strike. Whew. He wanted to go after that one, but... That's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now.
That's going to even up the count at two and two. Gray gets the sign. Here he comes on two and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Ooh, this beer is fucking bitter, man. <laughs> First pitch of the at-bat. Uh, and a high strike there, 0-1. Revival Brewery Company. New England, it's New England-style India Pale Ale. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, it's nothing, our score. I think. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Yes, Brood and Cranston. Like 15 minutes. The wind up and the 0 2 Cranston. pitch. Like 15 minutes from where I live. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. That big curveball is not an easy one to take on an 0-2 count. That's a great job of holding on. High and deep oh. to right center field. Oh. That goes Betts. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. Solo shot for Jacoby Ellsbury. His first homer here in the series. As the Brewers get on the board first, it's one to nothing. And this is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it. And that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go no of it. Standing in now, Thanks, Matt man. Duffy. Matt Duffy. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Yeah. He hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. <clears throat> Here's Miguel Sano. As he swings Whoa. and hits this one foul off to the right and out of play. The 0-1. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Boy, tough slider right there. Had a meaning back. I don't think he could have done anything with that pitch, even if he did swing at it. That's popped up. Out towards short right field. Here comes Dickerson. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. That was bad boy. I haven't talked to him in a while. Up next for Milwaukee. First baseman. Into the box now, Steve Pierce. He flew out in his last at bat. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. That one misses. It's one and one now to the Milwaukee first baseman. That trying to go front door with that breaking ball started it a little too far inside there. One and two. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. A runner on first with two away. Back to the mound and off his leg. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. But the Brewers are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. 
We're through three here in southern Wisconsin. It's now 1-0 Milwaukee. Leading off the inning, Mookie Betts, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. You know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Yeah, I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. Hit hard up the middle, up the middle and off his leg. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Edwin Encarnacion is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. Price gets his sign. Here's the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Son of a bitch. Go on to first. He'll take care of Encarnacion for the second out. Well, he really bunched him up on that two-seam fastball right there. It's not a very confident swing either. And the result? Just an easy ground ball. Into the box now. Corey Dickerson. Uh, so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. Oh. Can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. Boy, he might be pressing his luck a little now. That's two straight pitches right down the middle. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Oh, if you take a swing at a pitch like that, you're lucky that you only got sawed off. He's going to have to go find himself another piece of lumber. Fought off at the plate and we'll do it again. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Slow bouncer to the right side. To his left, Pierce. The tag, and he is out. Oh. One, two, three, go the Reds. They trail this one, one to nothing. Andrew Lowry is set to lead Leading us off the in the home the half of the fourth inning. Catcher. Andrew Lowry. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Good. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Chop foul right at home plate. Ready with the 0-2. Hard hit ball to second. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. Yeah, nothing too special about a ground ball single up the middle here. But if you keep putting the ball in play like they've been doing, good things have a tendency to happen. We'll see if this gets them started. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Oh, shit, the sun's finally coming out. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again.
Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Chop foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. 0-2 oh, count, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as Castor was retired here for the first out. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. He thinks he's right on it at the plate. And look where it winds up. It, completely out of the zone. And that's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Boy, we're more than halfway through this game, and he's thrown a first pitch strike to 70% of the batters he's faced. So he's pitching very, very well right now. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh and two, here it comes. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0 and 2. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. He pulls this one into right. In there, a base hit. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Yeah, just couldn't put him away right there. You'll see the sequence. He was able to foul off two straight 0-2 pitches, and then finally he finds a pitch that he could do something with, and he's on board. Into the box, Adonis Garcia, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Fastball in there for a strike, 92 on the radar gun that time. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. On to first, and the throw goes right by him. Just about ended the inning on that one. That's a pretty heads-up play on the bases right there to understand where the defense is playing. Freeze a little bit on the line drive, and then be able to get back to the bag safely ahead of the throw. Here's Carl Crawford now as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. Drilled on the ground is short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Brewers strand a couple, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Albert Pujols will stand in to lead things off here, and his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront, and this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. Back to work now is Price as he gets ahead to start the inning. It's strike one. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. On the ground up the middle. On. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now back. Wow, he's, he's using that fastball to devastating effect out there now. He gets another out here. That's seven in a row now he's set down. Charlie Blackman will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Price into his motion. Here's the first pitch. 
And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it and running it down. Derek Norris will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. High in the air out to center field. Ellsbury has a beat on it, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. They still trail 1-0. Jacoby Ellsbury comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. And a swing and a miss there by Ellsbury as he's down nothing in two now. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Betts. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Third baseman, number five, Matt Duffy. Matt Duffy steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Now a fastball, oh, come a bit on. too low here. It's ball one. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. So tough to hang in there on that pitch, but you got to do it. You can't give up on that inside corner, or this guy will bury you. Here it comes on one and one. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That ball's headed for the gap wow. in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. Around first, heading for second now. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one out double. Well, I think this is a little bit of a gamble from my perspective. I had a feeling that he'd take a big turn around first and then hold on. But he was having none of that. He's smelling two all the way, and he's going to make it there with a hustle double. Here's Miguel Sano. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Too high, ball two. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase. And after that, I'm thinking they should just put him on. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Green light here on three and O. Oh. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter. Probably not. 
And now on 3-0, and they won't even bother to nibble at the corners as they'll just go ahead and put him aboard here. Yeah, they decide they don't even want to mess around with this guy. <laughs> with his track record, it's hard to say you blame him. Let somebody else beat you. Steve Pierce is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. You've got to believe he's going to keep going back to that slider. It's been great for him so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game. Hit sharply on the ground. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2-0 game. Andrew Lowry digs in, coming off a single in his last at-bat. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield here would be big for these guys. It could score, too. First offering on its way. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. You got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled the ball one and one. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Not nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, this is a pretty hard hit ball, and I thought for a second that he might have had a shot at the plate, but he thinks about it for a second and takes the sure out instead, and that allows that runner to come in and score. Starlin Castro is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Boy, no fear in that location. He just ramped up and threw it right by him. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. And oh, come this one on. gets away. That could be a run. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. What yeah, the that's his second that, wild man. pitch of the game, and this one's going to cost him. Oh. It almost looked like he got a cleat stuck on that delivery because this is nowhere close. That runner's going to come in and score from third. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Ready on one and two. Chopped weakly to the left. Castellanos with a bare hand. Not in time. Oh, love the effort, though. Nearly a remarkable play, but score at a base hit, and the inning continues with two away. Marwin Marwin Gonzalez will stride in. Popped out and singled in his two trips. Yeah, and he made just a little adjustment last time coming off of that pop-up the first time around, and he got himself a base knock. That's what the good ones do. Here comes Brian Price now out of the Reds' dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to be all for Sonny Gray. Nate Jones is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. the shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. First pitch coming, here it is. Marwin Gonzalez stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 0. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. Three runs already home here. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. The one and two pitch. And a good take there will push it to two and two now on the Brewer shortstop. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. And now the benefit of you working the count to three two is that. That runner gets a head start from first with two away. Tap foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And oh, he can't rein it in. 
Here comes the payoff pitch. Fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. Full count. Here it comes. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. The Brewers lead it four to nothing. Nick Castellanos will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Price sets his sights. Here it is on 1-0. and oh. And Come here's a ball on, hit man. in the air. And reined in one away. The batter. Second yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch breakdown so far. Everett Cabrera did his <coughs> job in his first at-bat, laying down a successful sacrifice bunt. Yeah, a well-executed bunt his last at-bat, but obviously this time he's swinging away. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Hit hard to the right side. Dude, every fucking ball. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, Hit and there are somebody. two gone now. And a lot of times, you, know, you might say, hey, you know, four run lead, we'll make that up. But I tell you, the way he's throwing the ball right now, they might be fortunate just to get one run off him. Gene Segura will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. Just a little off on his earlier swings, guys. You've got to keep that top hand palm up through contact to keep him rolling over. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Ah, and they're able to keep the inning alive as you check out the numbers on his performance so far. That's just the third hit he's allowed to this point. He's been pretty much in control the whole way. Segura runs. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. We've seen him use his speed more than once here this postseason, and he's on the run again here as he gets into second with the stolen base. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Lying toward right center. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Here's Segura around third, heading for the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Oh, this one really hurts. You don't mind seeing this quite as much if the base is empty, but this one's going to cost them a run. Edwin Encarnacion now, as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. Adonis Garcia will stride in as he'll be see tasked he with starting out things in the Brewers' half of the six. K, K. Ace hit. Time to move ahead to the top of inning number seven. Corey Dickerson will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. Lifted the other way to left center. Yeah. Ellsbury moves over. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. Albert Pujols will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Fucking Swinging a high unbelievable. Pop straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Boy, that's just Pujols another off-balance swing right there. Not only are these guys light on hits, they're not even making solid contact right now. First pitch on its way. Charlie Blackman oh, is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Oh. We're in the seventh now. 4-1 to one our score to this point. That evens it up 1-1. One and one. One and one, here it comes. Took him oh, right my. up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Not a real good effort there. Now, it, it's one thing if it's a slider running away or something like that, but that pitch right there was never going to be a strike. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by Castro. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. One, two, three, Fuck go the red. Ugly game. They trail it four to one. Matt Duffy will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that odd in. We'll look ahead now and pick this one back up in the top of inning number eight. Leading out for Cincinnati. Derek Norris comes to the plate, and he'll start Derek us off in the eighth. Norris. Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late, so they need to get at least one back here in this inning. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. I think a lot of pitching coaches would like to see that first pitch strike ratio better than about 60%, but that's what he's got going for him tonight, and he's pitched very well. Oh, one pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. And this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eighth. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. And now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Nick Castellanos will step forward now. Lined out and popped out in his previous two trips. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Ellsbury is going to get there. One away. Eighth inning from Milwaukee with the Brewers out on top in this one. As you get a look there at the line score and how we got to this point. Everett Cabrera will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And the throw by Crawford won't be in time. He's in there at third. And this has been the bottom Whoa. third of the order getting on base. They're the ones creating the scoring opportunity. Now it's going to be up to the top of the lineup <laughs> to make sure it wasn't in vain. Gene Segura will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. 
Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot nice. more interesting. First delivery to him on the way. And that's through. A base hit. In to score easily is the runner from third. And don't look now. They've cut the lead down to two. But he gets back Man. in time. Safe at second base. A great example right there. Just using the whole field. Doesn't try to do too much here. Just sort of inside outs that thing the other way. No, That'll my thing good echoes. enough to score that runner from third. Here comes the Milwaukee skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to come get his starter here. So that'll be all this evening for David Price. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there. So he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Your attention, please. Now Call to the bullpen the now is Luke Gregerson will take over here on the mound. Gregerson. Here's Mookie Betts as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. And that's through for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller, the thought is that you've got to get out there and hit the ball before it sinks. So that means if you're a right-handed hitter, you got to jump out there and pull it. And that's exactly what he did. So striding in, Edwin Encarnacion, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the belt, kicks and deals. In there, strike one. So often, playoff baseball comes down to the bullpen, and this is going to be a bullpen game from here on out. And it's quickly 0-2. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And this one gets away. That could be a run. And it is a run. Wow. Up next, wow. Right fielder, Corey Dickerson. So stepping in, Corey Dickerson as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And ball four here on the intentional walk, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. And this is probably the right decision here with two outs. Too many things can go wrong when you let him swing the back. Come on, Albert. Move them all wrong. Albert Pujols will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Short hit hard. Bah! Gonzalez is up with it. He'll send it on to Castro at second, and the inning is over. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Milwaukee leads it four to three. Starlin Castro gets another crack Leading right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this one. point. Starlin. Castro. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit hard to short. Segura has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. The batter, number nine, shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. Digging in, Marwin Gonzalez as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Oh. 
And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. and oh. And I think with no one on base, you know, this is a guy you uh, need what to are you come fucking after. Doing, dude? I certainly wouldn't be afraid to give him a fastball here. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full 3-2. and two. Popped up. And Carnacion is calling for it. Two down. Now batting. Wow, that's got to be a frustrating at bat right there because you feel like you're all over a pitch. And then maybe your mechanics break down just a little bit. You get underneath it, and it just becomes a harmless pop-up. Adonis Garcia stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. James Thompson will come on here looking to get the final out in the home half of inning number eight. James Thompson. Adonis Garcia steps in now. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Adonis. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. Four three our score here as we play the eighth. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. And, and he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off. And that is off the first base bag. Two out, nobody on. It was not off the first base bag, dude. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. David Robertson is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Charlie Blackman. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, this has been a great game so far, and they're only down by one. So getting this leadoff guy on would be huge for them. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Robertson's ready. 1-0 on its way. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. Hit in the air to center field. Ellsbury waits on it. One down. And with him in there trying to preserve a one-run lead, the first thing he wants to do, don't let that leadoff hitter get on base to start the inning. That's a nice way to approach him. Now he's just two outs away from wrapping this one up. Now to the plate, Derek Norris. He singled his last time up. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Oh, yeah, he's got that magic wand going now. That's his third hit in four trips. All of them singles. He's been a tough out all game long. Nick Castellanos comes to the plate now with the tying run at first, so he'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Back 
And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing and one. The win would belong to David Price if the lead holds up. Quick check on that time run at first. Safe. And he just manages to get his hand in. Why not? Make him get dirty. And another throw over, hey. keeping particularly close tabs on him. Must think something's up. And again a throw. Hey. And a dive, but he's back. Runners on first with one down. Off is Marisnik. In the dirt here. Pitch is in the dirt and knocked down, and he'll make it into second easily with a stolen base. Trying to hold the lead into center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Yes. Here comes Marisnik around yes. third. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's a 4-4 game. This team just never quits. They never say die. And they've come all the way back to tie this game in the top of the ninth. Can you believe it? Everett Cabrera steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. It's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Yeah, some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? Back to first, a double play, and we stay tied heading to the bottom of the ninth. So not a good turn of oh, events man. for this home crowd as now their ninth inning lead has evaporated. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we are tied 4-4. Jake Marisnik will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Into the box, Carl Crawford. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Wellington Castillo is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Wellington Castillo. Here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Backhanded. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. That's a nice backhanded play there at second. You'd like to be able to get in front of this ball if you can, but here he does a nice job of looking it into the glove, and then he makes the throw to first for the out. Jacoby Ellsbury is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. This reminder to stop by the stadium store located on the main concourse to pick up all your postseason souvenirs. We've got hats, we've got shirts, we've got jerseys. You want it, we've got it. Make sure to stop by tonight to make sure you're outfitted for the postseason. Now here's the pitch. 
Sinker runs the outside to start the at bat, one and zero. Unfiltered with tons of flake barley, we've added three times to Citra, Galaxy Mosaic, and Azakis hops at flame out, and then dry hopped it three times. Yeah. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Well, if he's going to overcommit to pitches like that down in the zone, I'd keep throwing him until he proves he can lay off. Now a swing and a fly ball. Blackman on the move. And this will wind up a foul ball. Oh, and a good curve ball that time as it's taken for a called strike three. And there are two away. Two quick outs here to start the inning. It's looking more and more likely that we're going to need extra innings here to decide this one. Matt Duffy strides in, grounded out his last time through. Pitch on the way. Lays off 1-0. and Bases are empty here with two men out. Hot shot on the ground is short. Segura fields it cleanly. Ah, but the throw bounces on him at first, and the inning's going to continue. These are the tough ones for a first baseman. If this bounces a little sooner, it's not that tough of a scoop, but you see it short hop him and bounce right up toward his belt buckle. <laughs> Not a safe spot. You can't dig it out. Here's the first pitch. Miguel oh. Sano. Oh. He's at the plate now as he looks at strike one. We're down the middle. The 0 1 pitch. There goes the runner. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Hey, with two outs, why not? If he gets thrown out, it's no big deal. We're just going to play another inning. Instead, now you've got the winning run in scoring position, and you put a lot more pressure on both the defense and that guy on the mound. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Well, this is a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1. And now he's really in the driver's seat to see a fastball. And he takes ball four again. And clearly, guys, they just don't want any part of him in this one. And that's not the first time he's had the bat taken out of his hands. You see right there, a lot of pitchers just said, hey, with an open base, forget about it. I'm going to let the next guy try to beat me. Here's Steve Pierce now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. And against a veteran hitter like this, you got to be in that strike zone early in the count. Because the more pitches he sees, the better he's going to be able to time anything you've got. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Deep breath time out there on the mound now. And this crowd, well, they're definitely making things tough on him out there. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Fastball here? I think it has to be. You're licking your chops if you're the hitter. Three and one, you can't walk the bases loaded. Bail and whale. Ball four, and that will move the winning run over to third base now, just 90 feet away. Here's the first pitch. Softly on the line to third. No, a little trouble goodness. handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. 
Chester Smith. He's going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number 10, Chester Smith. Joaquin Benoit. Come on now as he'll take over to start the extra frames. Joaquin Benoit. Gene Segura will come on now to start things out in the 10th. And you have to figure the momentum is squarely on their side after the manner in which that ninth inning went down. Yeah, just a great comeback to tie the game in the top of the ninth, followed by putting up a zero in the bottom half. This is a ball club that just won't quit out there, and they're going to keep fighting until the last out. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. That Cincinnati. may have been one of those situations where you wonder, Mookie not going to be able to throw him out at first. Maybe that's one where you try and see if that would have gone foul. Mookie Betts comes to the plate here, and we'll see how they play it with that leadoff man on base. Yeah, and in this situation, you've got to move that runner to second any way you can. So we're going to see how they decide to play it right here. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. And when you're still searching very for the nice, first very extra nice. base hit of the game, Fundamental, this award baby. is a nice substitute. He's in the second with the old single and a stolen base routine. Benoit sets. Here's the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right. Sano is there, oh, one away. Bad. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Up next wow. for Edwin Encarnacion to stand in now in what could be one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game. And what he has to do right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to this point in the game, but he could make up for it with a big hit right here. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Oh, and this end uh -huh. is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. And this is why he's staring an 0 for 5 in the face. He's been chasing that pitch all night long. Runner goes for third. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. This works out for him in the end, but with two outs, I don't know that I want my guy trying to steal third when he's the go-ahead run. That could have really backfired on him if he got thrown out to end the inning. In now, Corey Dickerson. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball to the second. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Reds leave one, still off square at four apiece. Digging in now, Starlin Castro. He's one for four for the game. Second baseman, Starlin Castro. Here's the pitch. And he takes ball one. Oh, he rips this one to first. Nice. But right there is Encarnacion, and he just got in the way of that one. One gone. Remember now, that's the winning run if he can get on. Definitely put a good swing on this ball. Just unlucky that it was right out of Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the one and one delivery. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hard.
hard hit to Ferns. Fielded by Encarnacion. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Two up, two down to start off the bottom half. Starting to look like this one's going to go another inning. Great. Adonis Garcia struggling so far in this one. He'll look to erase his 0 for 4 ball game with a base hit right here. Oh, man, it's never fun to go over, but let's see if he can find a way to climb out of it. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1-0. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while. And when he does, he can forget it. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Blackman's after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. No winner yet. On to inning number 11 we go, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Albert Pujols comes to the plate as the leadoff man here in the 11th inning. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big-time power. Benoit's ready. First pitch on the way. Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. You know, and this is one of the few downsides to being a guy with tremendous strength at the plate. Once you get that thing started, it's really hard to put on the brakes. And he winds up breaking the plane right here, and that's strike three. Lifted the other way out to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. I'll tell you, this guy has been something else in these playoffs. I mean, when it matters most, he's come up aces more times than not. And he delivers once again here with a ringing double. Man, he's fun to watch. Here's the catcher, Wellington Castillo. And the runner's breaking for third. And there will be no throw as he takes third with ease. He's sick. Well, sometimes if you're going to go out and try to win the game, you need to take some chances. And sending the guy from second was certainly a big chance. But it works out for him. So now they can take the lead here with something as simple as a fly ball. Now a pitch out as they might have smelled the squeeze that time. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Up the middle and off the pitcher's leg. Safe after the recovery throw. Nice. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. And let's see now. Well, you know all the infielders are taught to try and knock the ball down in that RBI situation. But here on the mound, I don't think he had any choice. This one comes back at him and gets him flush. By the time they all scramble around to find the ball, they have no chance of preventing that run from scoring. Nick Castellanos now. As he'll swing and send a line drive out to right field. 
but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Well, that's a good idea right there. He goes with the pitch. He's not trying to pull it. Shoots this thing the other way. Just happens to be right at the right fielder. Standing in now, Everett Cabrera. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. The 0-1 delivery. Liner towards second. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. One last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now. It's the Reds 5 and the Brewers 4. Jason Grilly will come on now in a save situation as he'll try to put an end to the proceedings here in the bottom of the 11th. Carl Crawford will come forward now trying to at least get on base with his guys down to run here in extra innings. Yeah, I don't think you really need to be swinging for the fences just yet. You just need to find a way to get some guys on base and get that conveyor belt rolling. And that misses inside 1-0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. This is pulled into right, and that'll get down a leadoff single for Crawford. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring in Jacoby Ellsbury. Quick check on that tying run at first. And a dive, but he's back in. Got a pretty good lead right there. And a pitch out, but Crawford's not going. Drill down the line. Castellanos is there. Cabrera for one. On yes. the first, and they turn the double play. And for his wow. time run gets on base, he's taken away here on the double play. Just a big pitch right there, and a very good turn at second base to get them both. Stepping in now, Chester Smith, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Swing yeah, and a baby. miss. He struck him what out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, maybe it took him a couple more innings than they had hoped, but a win's a win, and they get a good one here on the road in 11 innings. Time for one last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. Well, guys, as you know, if you're going to pick a time to have a big ball game, you may as well make it happen in the playoffs. And this man right here obviously did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. But this was, this was one they definitely needed. And he came up with a huge performance here. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com.